Welcome. In this video series, we aim to inform and educate those interested in naturism. Whether you are interested, a beginner, or a seasoned naturist, there is something for anyone. The Beginner's Guide to Naturism Brought to you by KZNNA the KwaZulu Natal Naturist Association Topics we will cover in this video series will be Chapter 1 How to Feel Comfortable Naked Chapter 2 How to Practice Naturism Chapter 3 Practicing Naturism Outside Your Home Chapter 4 Practicing Naturism as a Family Chapter 5 What to Know About Practicing Naturism with Your Children Chapter 6 How to Date a Partner Who Practices Naturism Chapter 7 General Warnings and Tips About Naturism Chapter 8 Some Tips to Keep in Mind When Explaining Naturism to Others Let's Start Chapter 1 How to Feel Comfortable Naked Co-authored by Trudy Griffin, LPC, MS for wikihowto.com. There are some people who feel more comfortable when they are naked than when they are fully clothed. Many people, however, feel extremely uncomfortable with nudity, whether because of their appearance or for moral and social reasons. On the other hand, feeling comfortable naked is a strong sign of self-confidence. Since we all must be naked some of the time if only when bathing or changing clothes, it's worth trying to become more comfortable with being nude. Adjusting your mindset. Set a goal and create a plan. If you have never felt comfortable naked or have always hated your body, the first step is to decide that you want that to change. Set a specific goal, to feel comfortable naked with the lights on in front of your spouse, for example, to make it more likely that you will achieve a positive outcome. Create a detailed plan as to how you will achieve your goal. Decide how you will track your progress when you would like to achieve your goal, make sure this gives you enough time to change, and what you will do to achieve success. Start where you are. If you don't feel comfortable with your body even with your clothes on, work on that first, then build up to nudity. If you are uncomfortable being naked in front of another person with the lights on, try leaving on the lights for just a few seconds while you're naked. As you become more comfortable, you can extend the length of time. Don't let the fact that you haven't yet accomplished the goal make you unhappy. Instead, be proud of yourself for working toward your goal. Strive for self-acceptance instead of worrying about other people's opinions. There are many reasons why someone might criticize your appearance. And many of these reasons have nothing to do with you or your body. What matters is what you think, not what others think. The practice of mindfulness. Keeping your attention on the present moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judging them. Can help you achieve self-acceptance and can make it possible for you to examine opinions and values concerning nudity and your own body with a certain level of detachment. Keep reminding yourself that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Just because some cultures and societies worship a certain body type doesn't mean it's the best one. Look at Peter Paul Rubens' painting, The Three Graces, to see what a beautiful woman's body looked like during the Renaissance. Look for inspiration from those who have succeeded in conquering fear. For example, consider the bravery of Jay West, an eating disorder survivor who stood outside in London in a bra and panties to encourage support for self-acceptance. Approach the problem rationally. Remember that self-criticism is the harshest kind of criticism. People are more worried about their own appearance than yours. Just because you think everyone is looking at you or making fun of you doesn't mean they are. Try to evaluate your body objectively. Figure out what you're being bothered by. Are you most embarrassed by your weight? Pale skin? Freckles? Scars? Sweating? Knowing specifically what makes you uncomfortable can help you figure out how to change the situation. Don't expect to look like a celebrity. Models and movie stars are professionally obligated to live up to different standards. 
The ones whose pictures you see can also afford personal trainers, chefs, stylists, and makeup artists, as well as top-of-the-line skincare, exercise equipment, and food. Furthermore, many photos in magazines are airbrushed to make the person look better. Keep in mind that you didn't choose your genes. Many aspects of your appearance are determined by the genes you inherited from your parents. Your genes also influence your propensity to gain or lose weight. This doesn't mean you should give up, but it does mean you need to accept that you need to work with what you have, and that you may not be able to change some things about your appearance, your height, for example. Accepting your body. Be kind to yourself. Mentally beating yourself up for your perceived shortcomings doesn't change anything and only makes you feel worse. Instead, identifying and focusing on your best features can help reduce stress. To help focus on your best features, practice self-affirmation. The process of transforming your thoughts to de-emphasize the negative and instead focus on the positive. Remind yourself at least once a day that you love yourself no matter what, that you have made the conscious decision to accept your body, and that you have made an active decision to reach your goal of becoming comfortable naked. Acknowledge the vulnerability inherent in nudity. Exposing yourself, literally and figuratively, inherently makes you more vulnerable. However, psychologists argue that you must be willing to be vulnerable in order to open yourself up to new opportunities and experiences. Recognizing that vulnerability requires great courage can help boost your overall self-esteem and make it easier for you to allow yourself to be vulnerable in the future. Be naked more often. If you are uncomfortable or fearful of a situation such as being naked, you will tend to avoid it. This sets up a vicious cycle in which fear leads to avoidance which leads to more fear. Psychologists use exposure therapy, gradual and systematic exposure to the situation or object you fear, to treat people with phobias. Research shows that acceptance-based exposure therapy can even help treat body dysmorphic disorder, a serious mental illness that causes you to obsess about the flaws in your appearance. Exposure therapy can involve imagining the feared situation, being exposed to the situation through virtual reality, and eventually in real life. Exposure therapy is a psychological treatment that should be supervised by a trained therapist. However, you can apply the basic principle that the more often you do something you fear without negative consequences, the less fearful you will become on your own. Ask a friend to help you identify your best features. You will find it easier to see the good points of someone else's body than it is to see your own good points. So will your friends. Instead of trying to identify your own best features, ask a friend what she thinks. Because this is such a sensitive topic, it may be best to wait for your friend to ask you to evaluate her before you reciprocate. Just because a friend is willing to help you feel more comfortable naked doesn't mean that she is ready to do the same. Emphasize health and fitness over appearance. Instead of focusing on your appearance, decide that you are going to strive for a higher level of health and fitness. This will make it easier to motivate yourself to exercise because you will be focusing on a positive goal, better health, rather than a negative goal, less weight. One way to shift your focus from appearance to health and fitness is to exercise with the goal of developing tangible physical skills. If you can do 10 inverted yoga push-ups, you will feel pride in your body regardless of what it looks like. Changing your appearance, exercise. People who exercise feel better about their appearance even if they don't lose weight. Take baby steps. If you can't bring yourself to turn off the TV and go outside for a walk, at least stand up and walk in place for a few minutes in front of the TV. Any exercise is better than none at all. And once you develop the habit, which can take about two months, you can build on your success. Do aerobic and strength training exercises. Both kinds of exercise can help burn fat and improve muscle tone. Modify your diet. Don't go on a crash diet with the intention to lose weight fast. Instead, modify your eating habits. The latter approach will help you avoid feeling like you've failed if you don't lose weight as quickly as you would like. Cycles of losing and then gaining back weight have also been found to be unhealthy. When evaluating a weight loss plan, Make sure it includes foods from all major food groups, so you don't miss out on essential nutrients. Make sure your weight loss plan fits your lifestyle and budget. 
If you can't afford or find the foods you plan to eat in your local store, or if the plan requires a lot of cooking, and you don't like to cook, you are less likely to reach your weight loss goal. Practice good personal hygiene and grooming. Maintain your appearance and feel more comfortable naked by taking care of your body. This includes bathing, trimming or removing body hair, and taking care of your skin, nails, and teeth. Many cosmetic procedures are available to change your appearance, from spray tans to waxing to cosmetic surgery. Some of these procedures can have negative effects on your health, e.g. long-term use of tanning boots, so make sure to learn about and weigh the potential risks if you choose to undergo one or more of these procedures. Project Confidence Through Body Language You can modify your appearance by altering the way you stand and how you carry yourself. Stand up straight. This is the most effective way to communicate confidence, and it can also affect how your body looks. Although it may feel natural, especially if you're naked, don't cross your arms. Others will perceive this as protecting yourself or being nervous. Chapter 2 How to Practice Naturism Co-authored by Camilla Tan Naturism, also known as nudism, involves a lifestyle of nudity at home and in public and is all about getting in touch with your body and respecting yourself as well as the other people in your community. Contrary to what some people think, it's more about freedom than sexuality, and it can be a very liberating and rewarding movement to align yourself with. If you're interested in the naturist movement and would like to know how to put your ideas into practice, then see step 1 to be on your way. Understanding Naturism aka Nudism Know that naturism can help you get closer to nature. There's a reason why some naturists prefer to be called naturists. Naturism is all about returning to your natural state and being in harmony with nature. Being nude while you're on a beach, in the woods, or in a natural setting can help you experience nature on a whole new level. One of the greatest and most freeing parts of naturism can be the feeling of waves or sun against your nude body. Know that being nude doesn't mean being sexual. Of course, it's natural for many people to think that something untoward should happen when a bunch of people get together without any clothes on. However, most people who follow the naturist movement don't think there's anything inherently sexual in taking off their clothes. They just think it helps them be free and return to their natural states, and that's all that matters to them. Being naked isn't inherently erotic for naturists. They get used to seeing a nude body without thinking sexual thoughts. Also, you shouldn't think that you must have a perfect body or to look super sexy to be a naturist. Naturists have bodies of all shapes and sizes. Though it may take some convincing to show your friends and family members that getting naked doesn't have to mean getting frisky, this is the lifestyle that many people choose. However, be careful. There are some sects that fly under the banner of naturists that are more sexual in nature, that don't subscribe to naturist ethics and sometimes they are called swingers or cruisers. Outward sexual behavior at INF-affiliated clubs and associations, like KZNNA, are against our code of conduct and not allowed. Know that naturism can help you feel free. Being a naturist can help you return to your childhood self, to remember the person you were before you cared about putting your clothes on and running around naked and happy. It's a very liberating feeling. Naturism can help you return to that pure and unself-conscious version of yourself and can help you feel happy and free in a friendly environment. Think of how complicated our lives have become. Having to choose clothes, jewelry, footwear, and so many other items only makes it harder to be our natural selves. Know that most naturists aren't naked all the time. You may have an idea of naturists as people who are naked at the grocery store or movie theater or who show up to family barbecues in the buff. However, many naturists hold regular jobs and are clothed during their time out in the general public, even if they are always looking for opportunities to shed their clothes in a safe environment. Committing to being a naturist doesn't mean throwing out all your clothes. It means embracing the opportunity to be nude when you can. Practicing naturism at home. Respect the boundaries of the people you live with, if you don't live alone. 
Though you may want to frolic in the buff around your three siblings and parents or in front of all your roommates and their guests, it's not considerate to practice naturism in front of people who are uncomfortable with it. If you live with people who say they are okay with you being in the buff, such as accepting roommates, then you can be nude any time you like. However, if people like your parents or siblings are not into it, then you can practice naturism in the comforts of your own room or in other parts of the house when you know no one else will be home. Have an honest and frank conversation with the people you live with to gauge their reactions. Of course, it's important for you to practice your beliefs, but you don't want to infringe on the freedoms of others, either. Talk to like-minded people when choosing to find roommates. If you live with people who might be interested in the movement, too, then you can also have a frank conversation about inviting them to join your naturist lifestyle. If they don't know much about naturism, they may be a little alarmed, at first, but they may feel better once you educate them about the beliefs of the movement and set them straight on what naturism is really about. If they don't want to join you, there's no sense in pushing it. Naturism is something that people should only do if they are comfortable with it. Keep yourself out of view of your neighbors. Out of respect for your neighbors, you should try to keep the blinds or shutters down if you're practicing naturism in your own home. Going out in your yard in the nude is probably also a no-no unless you live on a secluded farm or in another rural area. You may think that this puts a damper on the fun of being a naturist, but this will help you practice your beliefs in a respectful manner. You should also keep a bathrobe handy just in case if the doorbell rings unexpectedly. You don't want to give a delivery man or neighbor the wrong impression. If you really want to practice naturism in your yard, you might be able to put a fence around the yard to keep neighbors and other passers-by from seeing you. However, this is probably a feasible option only if you live on a street with one-story houses. You might be able to plant trees or tall bushes around your yard, as well as putting up a fence if you live in a two-story house. Do what you normally do, naked. Now, the fun can begin. Once you know you're alone or that anyone else at home is comfortable with your naturism, and once you're out of view of the neighbors, you can go about your daily life, in the buff. You can make breakfast, watch television, study for exams, call friends, play with your cat, dance around, or just do whatever else you normally do without having any clothes on. That's the fun of naturism, doing what you normally do while feeling liberated. Of course, you should still shower, wash your hands, and keep things hygienic, whether you're in the buff or not. It's important to stay clean and fresh, whether you're clothed or not. Sleep in the buff One of the greatest joys of being a naturist is sleeping naked, feeling the cool sheets and mattress against your body when you drift off. Heck, many people who aren't naturists love sleeping without any clothes on. If you're committed to practicing naturism, then this can really be your time to shine, especially if you sleep alone or don't have roommates. Set your home to a nice temperature or open a window, depending on the season, and enjoy feeling free as you drift off. If you do live with roommates and don't want to startle any other people if you take a bathroom trip in the middle of the night, you should hang a bathrobe on your door so you can quickly throw it on if need be. Consider moving to a more naturist-friendly location. If you've tried to be naturist at home but feel too restricted because of the other people in your home, the judgment of your neighbors, or the general lack of freedom that you feel, then you may be better off moving to a more secluded area either where there are less people to offend, or where you can live with people who share your views. Of course, if you're too young to go out on your own just yet, you may have to wait until you feel responsible enough to go out on your own or just to relocate. Chapter 3. Practicing Naturism Outside Your Home Join a Naturist Community If you're really interested in becoming a naturist, then you can join a community of people who are also interested in maintaining their rights to be nude and to practice naturism safely. If you're in South Africa, you can join the KwaZulu Natal Naturist Association, KZNNA, GNA, NWNNA, or Birds of Paradise Club, for example. 
Most countries have a national nudist or naturist organization, like the South African Naturist Association, SANA. A Google search will find them for you. These organizations will help you find health clubs, private residences, beaches, or other locations where you can safely practice naturism. Joining the community will also make you feel less isolated about your beliefs and will help you meet more like-minded people. Though most naturists are focused on being free and communing with nature, there are some communities that encourage naturism for sexual reasons. If this is not for you, be very careful in your research. Be careful of any naturist association not affiliated with the International Naturist Federation, INF. Don't trust unofficial websites. Find a naturist beach or resort. You don't always have to be a card-carrying member of a naturist group to find a naturist beach or a naturist resort in your area. If you can just find a place that fits your ideas of accepting yourself and respecting your own individuality, then you'll be set in finding more places to practice naturism and to meet more like-minded people. If you practice naturism with your family, make sure that family members of all ages are welcome in the naturist beach or resort area. On the 3rd of April, 2015, the country's first official clothing optional beach, Penjati Beach near Trafalgar in KwaZulu Natal, opened after the Hibiscus Coast local municipality approved the South African Nudist Association's SANA application. KZNNA's code of conduct was enforced. It did, however, lose its status due to opponents, which has since moved on. Judgment since was overturned. However, no infrastructure exists, for example. Lifeguards and ablution facilities, thus it is still seen as an unofficial nude beach. Mpenjati like all other nude beaches in South Africa is currently seen as a place where naturism is ordinarily practiced and does not have official status. Do keep in mind that the worst that can happen is that you might be asked to cover up. Tread lightly, please obey law enforcement and cover up when asked. Although nudity has gradually been tolerated on Sandy Bay in Cape Town, strict enforcement of its moral values is no longer applied, it is not an official legally recognized public nude beach. Other beaches with the same status are Secrets Beach, Port Elizabeth, and Lighthouse Beach, Port Alfred. Umlanga Lagoon near Durban is closed due to a chemical and then a sewage spill during riots and floods since 2020. Universal rules you should obey while at a nudist beach. Nude beaches are marked, well, sometimes. Everyone you bring should get naked, do warn and encourage them beforehand. Do not take pictures, leave your phone at home. Come prepared, bring everything you need. Don't stare. Unpredictable erections must be covered up. Put on sunscreen, especially on the parts where the sun doesn't shine. Don't make any overt displays of sexuality. Don't say inappropriate things to other people. Relax and enjoy nature. Clean up after yourself. Get dressed before you leave. Take a naturist vacation aka nication. In recent years, the nication has become more popular than ever. A lot of people aren't necessarily comfortable with being naked in the place where they live, though they love the idea of going to an entirely new country or city to practice naturism. You can branch out of your comfort zone by finding resorts that are nude only and spending a week enjoying the naturist lifestyle. You can check out ordinary vacation websites and search for naturist spa vacations to find a resort that is perfect for you or you can use specialty websites that can help you find the perfect naturist destination. Some people are opposed to practicing naturism in public in a place near their home because they're afraid of running into someone they know. If you're hundreds of kilometers from home, this worry will melt away. Nication Spots in South Africa This is a list of some of the SANA-recognized naturist resorts in South Africa. At KZNNA we don't have a dedicated naturist resort. We book out a resort, lodge, or venue to have a naturist weekend and make it an ad hoc naturist resort for the weekend. Do join KZNNA to be notified of our events. We are looking forward to seeing you at our events. 
Find opportunities to be nude outside. Though you should make sure that you don't offend an unsuspecting hiker or neighbor with your nudity, if you can find some quiet and secluded spots to be nude in public, this can help you practice your naturism. This can involve skinny dipping in an isolated lake, camping in a remote location, and practicing naturism there, if it's allowed, or practicing your naturism in a remote farmhouse or another secluded location. In 1997, Women in Canada won the legal right to be topless in public if it isn't meant to be a sexual display. In addition, you can't be prosecuted for being nude in a remote area. You are protected if others must go out of their way to see you, sometimes even on your own private land. Just make sure that you don't break any legal rules in your country or state. If you get caught in the nude, just handle it calmly, act as you would ordinarily, with clothes on, and put on some covering till they leave. Never expose yourself willfully. If you are in a body of water just go a bit deeper until others leave unlike me. Don't run out on the beach for your towel when skinny dipping in the sea, exposing yourself to unsuspected hikers. Though it's not illegal to be nude in a public place, practicing naturism is illegal in states such as Arkansas or countries like Zimbabwe, Qatar and Iran. In South Africa specific clothing laws exist for the general public. Nudity and South African law. In South Africa, nudity is usually not treated harshly. It is not illegal to be naked in your home, outside on private property, or in public where nudity is ordinarily practiced, like a nude beach. Make sure that it is not viewable from a public space. Do keep in mind that the worst that can happen is that you might be asked to cover up and or leave, depending on the situation. Always tread lightly and act calm and naturally, like nudity is the most normal thing in the world, which it is. Obey law enforcement and do as they ask. Do know that mere nudity is not indecent exposure, and quite a grey area in law, however, the onlookers might disagree, which can cause you unnecessary battles. In South Africa nudity is treated under indecent exposure laws, the child protection law, which prohibits nudity in public in front of minors, and the Protection of Personal Information Act, POPIA, which prohibits the taking of or publishing of footage without explicit consent, especially nude ones, and those of minors. The International Naturist Federation prohibits the taking and publishing of frontal nudity footage of children. We have a footage policy that you can give or refuse permission and how it can be used on our KZNNA events. Chapter 3 Practicing Naturism as a Family Be aware of the debates surrounding practicing naturism as a family. You may want to practice naturism as a family because you want you, your spouse, and your children to feel free and at peace with your own bodies. This is a great motive, but before you embark on this journey, you should be aware that there are some dissenters out there who think that it may be unethical to raise your children as naturists. Some even go as far as to call it sexual abuse. At the end of the day, you should decide what's right for your family while making sure that your children don't do anything that they aren't comfortable with. Start by encouraging nudity. If you want your whole family to transition to being naturists, especially if you have young children, then you must play your cards right. You can't just go from wearing 10 layers of clothing to suddenly asking everyone to undress. Instead, you should encourage your family members to wear fewer clothes and even to be nude more, so you get comfortable with each other's bodies before taking the leap. If your children are nude during bath time, don't make it a big deal that they're not wearing clothes. You can even encourage your kids to spend more time in the nude if they are comfortable doing so after playtime. Of course, once you start doing this, you must make it clear that this is what your dynamics will be like but not what the outside world expects. Let your kids see that being nude at home is acceptable while it may not be in the world at large. Make your family feel confident. If you want to practice naturism as a family, then you must make people feel confident in who they are and how they look. Make them feel beautiful, don't laugh at their bodies, and give them compliments to make them feel like they are wonderful people both inside and out. Though naturism is not sexual and it's not about telling your husband he looks great naked, you should encourage people to be who they are without apology. 
Just maintaining a positive environment in your household can go a long way in encouraging your family members to be in the buff. Though healthy criticism is a good thing, you should focus on being more positive than negative and encourage your family members to grow spiritually and creatively. Make naturism feel natural. Another thing you can do is to make naturism feel like the norm when it comes to your home. If people aren't wearing clothes, don't make a comment about it or talk about how great it is to take some clothes off, but just treat it as a matter of fact. This will stop your family members from feeling self-conscious and it will make them feel like this is the most normal thing that they can do. If you and your family members are all sitting around nude at the dinner table, treat it as a totally normal thing instead of saying how nice it is that you're all nude together. If something is natural, then there's no need to call attention to it. Make naturism a convenience. You can show your family that naturism is not only natural, but it's convenient. You don't have to struggle with something to wear around the house all the time. You don't have to go shopping for a million new sets of clothes and can make do with what you must go outside. If it's a hot day, you don't have to turn the temperature down to zero degrees because you'll naturally feel cooler because you're in a buff. Do it as a family. Strength in numbers can help you practice nudity as a family without worry or trouble. If all of you are comfortable with it and doing it together in your home, you will strengthen your bond because of your love for the freedom that nudity brings. Of course, you should make your children feel comfortable enough to say that they don't approve or that they don't want to adhere to this lifestyle. You should respect their needs and beliefs and avoid ever forcing your beliefs on them. Chapter 5 what to know about practicing naturism with your children. Learn how to safely and comfortably implement naturism in your home. Co-authored by WikiHow staff. Family nudity can be a tricky topic because of cultural values, but it can be healthy for families to be nude around each other. In fact, treating nudity as natural and normal can help your children develop a healthy body image and safer dating practices as they grow up. However, it's important that you practice family nudity safely. You can do this by teaching your kids about nudity, setting rules and establishing boundaries, and addressing potential problems. Keep reading for more insight on how to safely practice naturism in your family. Things you should know. Explain to your children that nudity is not about sexuality but that it is a natural state. Avoid expressing your sexuality around your kids. Model positive body image in front of your kids and help them create personal boundaries so they know that whether they're naked or not, they're in charge of their bodies. Answer questions your kids might have about nudity and sex without judgment so that they know there's nothing shameful about being naked. Educate your children on different cultural views on nudity and let them know their friends may not agree with or understand your family's nudity, and that's okay. Teaching kids about nudity. Explain to your children that nudity is natural and not about sex. Depending on the culture where you grew up, you might think of nudity as being sexual. However, it's also your most natural state. When you're nude around your kids, Act like it's a natural, normal thing. Encourage them to embrace nudity as an unremarkable part of being human rather than a sexual act. Being nude doesn't have to trigger sexual attraction. Keep sex and nudity separate in your family so that nudity is practiced in a healthy way. It's best to introduce family nudity when your children are young. If you have older children, it may be best to practice nudity when they're not around unless they're comfortable with it. Let your kids know there are different cultural norms regarding nudity. Every culture has their own values when it comes to nudity. For instance, European cultures are more open about family and public nudity, while other cultures are more modest. There's nothing wrong with having different cultural values or with questioning the values of where you live. However, Talk to your children so they know what's different about how they live versus what their friends might think. You might say, in our family, we like to be close to nature and we celebrate our bodies. That means we're okay with being naked around our family members. 
Some of your friends might think that's not okay because they have different family values. Introduce other gender nudity when your children are young. One of the biggest challenges with family nudity is dealing with the difference between the genders. Children will likely have a lot of questions, and some people may be uncomfortable with your decision. Introduce your children to safe other gender nudity from birth or as early as possible. Teach them about the differences between your bodies and what behaviors are safe and appropriate. Answer any questions that your child has about the differences between each family member's body, such as genitalia and body hair. You might say, I have more hair than you do because I'm a grown-up. One day you'll have hair, too, or you have a penis, and your sister has a vagina, so you look different down there. Explain what's okay and what's not when it comes to touching. You might say, it's not okay for anyone to touch you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable. Also, no one should touch you down there until you're grown. Model healthy body image while being naked. One of the biggest benefits of practicing family nudity is building a healthy body image for your children. While you're naked around them, act like you're comfortable and proud of your body. Additionally, avoid criticizing your body when you're around your kids. Instead of saying something like, I wish I could get rid of this belly, say something like, I'm glad that my body could bring you into the world. Avoid expressing your sexuality when you're in a family setting. While your sexuality is normal and healthy, it's something you should only show when you're in private. Otherwise, your children may get confused about what's okay and what's not. If you get aroused, cover up or excuse yourself to another room. Similarly, don't engage in sexual touching with your partner when your kids are around. For instance, don't squeeze your partner's breasts or touch their genitals when your kids are looking. This will make them think that they should do these things because you're modeling the behavior. There's nothing wrong with children seeing their parents naked if it's not in a sexual way and if the child is comfortable. Do keep in mind that it is also illegal. Setting boundaries and rules. Be clean and hygienic when spending time in the nude. When you're nude, you need to pay more attention to your family's hygiene. Your family may accidentally transfer fecal matter, vaginal discharge, or menstrual fluids onto your furniture or flooring. Make sure your family bathes often and that each family member cleans themselves well after using the restroom. Additionally, consider sitting on a towel when you're on the furniture. Using moist wipes after you use the restroom may help you get your genital and anal area cleaner. Let each family member decide what feels comfortable to them. You likely want to practice nudity as a family because you think it provides benefits. However, it's possible that your family members won't feel the same way. Allow your partner, kids, and other household members to decide what makes them comfortable. Then, work together as a family to honor each other's needs. For instance, your partner may be okay with wearing underwear but not being fully nude. Similarly, your kids might decide they feel comfortable around same-sex family members only. Respect boundaries that other family members set regarding nudity. After you decide what each person is comfortable with, discuss the boundaries that you want to set as a family. Then, revisit these boundaries as your children grow up to make sure they reflect their current feelings. For instance, if your child says they don't want you to be nude around them, wear clothing when you're spending time with them. Similarly, your child may not want to take a bath or shower with other family members, and that's okay. Set rules for when being naked is okay and appropriate. While there's nothing wrong with nudity, it's not appropriate for every situation. It might be easy for adults in the family to recognize when clothing is necessary, but children may have difficulty knowing when and where it's okay to be nude. Talk to your child about the importance of wearing clothes in public spaces and help them set rules. Here are some you might consider. You can be nude at home and in secluded locations. Clothing must be worn around guests. Clothing must be worn at school or work. Clothing must be worn in all public spaces. Addressing potential issues. 
talk about physical differences in a positive, educational way. Your children are going to notice the differences between bodies. This can include different sexual organs, different amounts of body hair, and body fat. Answer any questions that they have about each family member's body. Keep your attitude positive and try to help them learn more about the human body. For instance, they might say something like, why don't you have a penis? You might respond, some people are born with a penis, while other people are born with a vagina. They might also say something like, why is your tummy squishy? You might say, some people have a squishy tummy, and some people have a hard tummy. Both can be beautiful. Help your children learn to respond to questions about nudity. While nudity may be the right choice for your family, some people are going to be confused about it. This means your children will start to get questions about it as they get older. Talk to your kids about how they should respond to these questions. This will help them explain your values in a way that other people understand. For instance, your child's friend may ask them, isn't it wrong to be naked around your parents? Your child might respond, in our family, we see nudity as being natural, so it's not weird for us. We don't even notice that we're naked. Calmly discuss appropriate sexual behavior with your child. It's totally normal for young children to explore their bodies, so don't worry if your child starts to touch themselves. However, it's important that you discuss what's okay and what's not. Calmly and respectfully tell your child that it's not okay to touch themselves sexually in front of others. Additionally, explain that they shouldn't touch other people in a sexual manner. You might say, I saw you tugging on your penis earlier. It's okay to want to touch yourself, but you can only do that when you're by yourself. Don't get upset or judgmental because it may make your child think that sexuality is wrong. It's best to take your child to see a doctor if they're continuously displaying sexual behaviors. While it's normal for children to explore their bodies, sometimes kids engage in sexual behaviors because they've been exposed to inappropriate sexual situations. Teach your child about appropriate and inappropriate touching. Nudity teaches kids to be comfortable about their bodies, which is great. However, they also need to learn that it's not okay for other adults or children to touch their private parts. Teach your children the names of their body parts. Then, explain that it's not okay for people to touch them and that they need to tell you immediately if it happens. You might say, your body belongs to you, so it's not okay for someone to touch you there. If someone ever touches you there, talk to me immediately so I can make sure you're safe. You may explain that sometimes you or a doctor will touch them in their private area for medical purposes. However, explain that this type of touching should never be secretive. Say, sometimes it's okay for a parent or doctor to touch you there. If this happens, don't be afraid to tell me or another trusted adult what happened. Good touching is never a secret. Don't ever show your child pornographic material. While it's okay to practice nudity as a family, that doesn't mean your child should see other people naked, especially in a sexual context. Don't under any circumstances show your child pornographic images. This can confuse them about what is natural and what isn't, which might make them explore inappropriate sexual behaviors before they're ready. Keep any pornographic images in a safe, hidden location if you have them. For instance, seeing posed pornographic photos may make it hard for your child to separate family nudity from sexual nudity. It's also important to understand the difference between pornographic or lewd nudity and artistic nudity as well. For example, anything pornographic is not okay to show to children as it will be confusing to them. However, nude paintings or sculptures at art museums are okay to show to children as these things are not pornographic. Chapter 6 Naturism, which is also called nudism, is a movement that embraces shedding your clothes during times of recreation. This might include things like being naked in one's home or going on naturist vacations. If you meet a great person who you start dating and find out that he or she is a naturist, you might need a moment to adjust, and that's understandable. We'll help you come to accept your partner, expand your perspective, and care for yourself in your relationship. Things you should know. 
Be open and honest with your partner about both your feelings and approach each other with open minds. No one can or should force another to be naked if they do not want to. Focus on the traits of your relationship that you enjoy and remind yourself about what you love about your partner. Seek counseling with a relationship counselor or personal therapist to discuss your own views with a third party. Accepting your partner. Speak openly with your date. Open communication is the cornerstone of any successful relationship. Have an open and honest conversation with your significant other about naturism and how the person practices it. Be always honest with each other. You should feel no shame or guilt asking the person about naturism. This is not a common lifestyle and the person should understand any questions or concerns you may have about naturism. For example, you can say, I am sorry if I seem surprised, I've just never known a naturist before. Could you tell me a little bit more about it? Does it mean you walk around naked most of the time? Give yourself time to process the answers if need be. Remember that naturism does not promote hyper or overt sexuality, and this might be a red flag if the conversation focuses solely on sex. Focus on other traits. Your significant other likely has other traits that define him or her beyond being a naturist. If the naturist aspect of the person's personality is something with which you have a hard time, then focus on the other things you like about the person. This can help you realize that you and the person are overwhelmingly compatible, even if there is one thing that makes you uncomfortable. Be honest with the person. You could say, I'm getting used to you being a naturist, but I really enjoy our long chats about travel over wine and dinner. Can we maybe focus on that for a while? Remind yourself of other positive traits whenever you have doubts. Calm yourself by saying, Ned might be a naturist, but he's a really great guy who is kind, generous, smart and a lot of fun. Embrace your significant other's differences. No two people are ever alike. By slowly embracing your naturist's perfections and imperfections, you might find that the old saying, opposites attract, holds true for you and your naturist. Be aware that it is completely normal if it takes you time to embrace your significant other's naturism. In fact, you may never get completely used to it. Gradually exposing yourself to the lifestyle may help you embrace your significant other and his or choices more readily. Remember that you also have quirks about your personality that your naturist might not understand. If you and the person are truly compatible, you'll be able to get past things you don't like about the person. If you are unable, that could be a sign that dating a naturist isn't the right decision for you. Encourage your significant other. Another key component to dating or being in a relationship is supporting the person. Even if you don't understand being a naturist, you can still be supportive of the naturist you are dating. However, remember that support is a two-way street, and your naturist should also try and meet you halfway, too. Ask your significant other how you can best support his or her naturism. For example, you could say, I've never known a naturist before and I'm trying to get comfortable with your choices because I really like you. How can I best support your decisions or naturist lifestyle? You might find that the person says, I like you just the way you are and the fact that you're keeping an open mind is already a huge support. Consider trying naturism. The mantra, don't knock it till you've tried it, may be useful when you're dating a naturist. If naturism is a completely unknown idea or feeling for you, consider giving it a try. You could try being naked for a few hours or even a day trip to a nude beach if you are comfortable. Tell your significant other that you'd like to try naturism. Be honest about your level of comfort and ask any questions you might have. You might want to start for an hour in the privacy of your home and gradually spend more time naked if you are comfortable. Only remove clothing with which you are comfortable. Pressure from your partner to do more may be a bad sign. Try out different levels of nudity. You could start by taking off your top and walking around topless with pants. Gradually remove articles of clothing as you are comfortable. To naturist men, Rick Orlando says, women tend to be more insecure about being seen naked or being around other people who are naked than most men are. 
there are a lot of cultural and safety reasons why that is. Which is, unfortunately, why some women aren't ever going to be comfortable with it. To find out how far she'll go, be routinely nude around her at home and welcome and encourage her to loosen up to whatever level of comfort she wants. Explain why you enjoy being free of your clothes but leave the label nudist out of it. The label encourages people to think of us as being different, when all it really means is that we actually like being and looking human, and we're fine with others just being themselves and looking like themselves. In other words, we're no different than anyone else would be if they weren't so perversely conditioned by their culture to feel otherwise. Share with her that you'd like to enjoy that freedom more widely and explore her feelings on that. Let it be your quirk that she can amuse herself with without having to feel the same way. At some point she might be open to going to a clothing optional beach or nudist venue with you, but don't push it. Once there, she'll either quickly like it, or she won't. Either way, encourage her to stay at least an hour or two but don't make her feel trapped by it. The interesting thing is that being free from the additional cultural crap they put up with often makes them love the freedom even more than guys do. While underrepresented in numbers, you'll find that it's often the women who run the place and are the biggest supporters. I've met women who dragged their guy there, and I've met several women who were initially reluctant, but wound up sticking with it well after the guy who initially brought them was well out of the picture. Good luck. Maybe she'll like it or at least learn to be okay with it, and maybe she won't. Changing your perspective on naturism, inform yourself about naturism. There are many misconceptions about naturism, such as that naturists are always naked. According to the Young Naturists of America, naturism not only promotes nude recreation but also broader social goals of non-sexualized acceptance of the body and combating bullying. Taking the time to learn more about the naturist movement can help you better understand, and accept, your significant other. Speak to your doctor about dietary and exercise requirements, including any warning signs of bigger issues for which you should watch. Consult the wide array of sites about the naturist movement. In addition to the South African National Naturist Association, the International Naturist Federation and KwaZulu Natal Naturist Association offer general information about naturism. However, when consulting the internet, Beware of sites that call themselves naturist or naturist, but are porn sites. If you see a website that calls itself naturist or naturist but is pornography, do not be fooled into thinking that this is what naturism is about and is what your partner must be doing. Talk to a doctor or mental health professional about naturism if you are concerned there is something wrong with your date. The doctor can explain to you that the desire to be naked during times of recreation is entirely normal. How you receive the concept is ultimately up to you, though. Acknowledge that naturism is a valid lifestyle. Every individual has perspectives and opinions based on life experiences. Your truth is not the only correct view. Recognizing that naturism is a healthy and legitimate life choice may help change your attitude towards it. Think about all the other types of lifestyles that people have. Naturism promotes loving and accepting every individual in a non-judgmental manner. Keep in mind that your naturist is not harming anyone or anything and if he or she remains that way, the person's life choices are valid. Share your feelings. If you are having qualms about dating a naturist, talk to a close friend or loved one. This person may be able to help you focus on the positive traits of your naturist. He or she may also make you realize that naturism is one small part of your significant other in contrast to so many other wonderful qualities. Consider your naturist partner's out status before talking to someone else. Some naturists may simply enjoy being naked in their homes and don't share this aspect of their lives with others. If this is the case, avoid talking to someone else, friends, loved ones, or otherwise about your partner's naturism. Be open and honest with your conversation partner. For example, say, I'm having such a hard time getting used to the thought that whenever we are at Lucy's place, she is naked. It makes me think of sex and I know that isn't her intention. How do I get over this? 
Ask if your friend has ever had similar experiences on which you can draw. Be aware that friends and family members may have concerns or even prejudices about dating a naturist, so remember to take any friendly alarm with a grain of salt. You can also use it as a chance to explain exactly what naturism is since the person may not know. Consider how your experiences shape your attitude. Maybe you grew up in a home where the body and nudity are taboo. It's important to acknowledge that your own life experiences may be coloring your attitude towards your naturist, and not for the better. Once you've done this, you can begin to reframe your attitude. This may make you more accepting of your naturist's lifestyle choice. Take some time and write out your attitudes towards nudity and the human body. Look at them and see if there are any things you can gradually change. For example, you might notice that you think it's shameful to show your most private areas to others. However, you could reframe this and say to yourself, wait, everyone has genitals. They might be used for sex, but they also serve other important functions. Be honest about your attitudes so that you can begin to make changes if you want. Caring for yourself, avoid stress. If you are unfamiliar with naturism, you might find that dating a naturist can be slightly stressful in the beginning because you're not sure how to act. If being around nudity stresses you, consider only meeting your significant other at venues where the person must wear clothes. You can always gradually allow yourself to get used to the person's lifestyle. This helps manage stress and promotes your overall well-being. Avoid questions about your partner's naturism from others if it makes you uncomfortable or causes you stress. Simply say, Ned's a great guy and we don't need to talk about his lifestyle. Schedule, me, time. Having time to yourself is an important part of any relationship and maintaining your well-being. Make sure you have plenty of, me time, to get your mind off any stress or discomfort you feel with your partner's naturism. Do activities with other people who are not naturists. Consider going to yoga or getting a massage. Both can help distress you and a massage may help you more easily and gradually embrace that sometimes people are naked. Avoid feeling guilty for taking some time to yourself. Remind yourself and your naturist that this is important for you and the health of your relationship. Find professional support. If you want to be more open with your naturist and are having trouble for any reason, consider getting professional support. This could entail seeing a therapist or life coach or even joining a group therapy session. You may find that talking about your issues with naturism, or how you can best accept it with strangers can help you more readily embrace the relationship for its other facets. If need be, end the relationship. You may have a very difficult time dealing with a person's naturism, even if you've tried methods to accept the lifestyle. If this is the case and you can't get past your problems with the person's life choices, then you might want to end the relationship. Although it might be difficult, it might be the best thing for both of you. Tell the person the truth about why you are ending the relationship. You could say, I really like you and enjoy spending time together, but I am having a really hard time with you being a naturist. It really causes me a lot of stress and I'm afraid it's going to affect our relationship. I'd really like to stay friends if you are open to that. Chapter 7 These are just general warnings and tips about naturism and might differ slightly from club to club. Don't force naturism on anyone who does not understand or does not have an open mind. Like anything else in life. It's your choice, not theirs. Be careful when discussing family nudity with people because they may not understand your values. They might misunderstand your family's comfort with nudity as being unnatural and sexual. If any of your family members are opposed, please kindly respect their wishes and don't force them into a naturism lifestyle with you. It may be difficult for your children to practice family nudity after they go to school because it's not widely accepted. Talk to your child and respect their preferences when it comes to nudity. Naturism is illegal in some countries, states, and places. Make sure of your local laws. Removing your clothes at the wrong place and time can land you in jail. Use good judgment to decide when and where it's acceptable to be naked. Exposing your body to the elements is healthy, but overexposure can put you at greater risk of illness or injury. Don't underestimate the sun, always use SPF 50 plus sunscreen. Don't make sexual remarks, acts, incite, advances, or display dash, unlawful, sexual, erotic, or any material to cause agitation or do other sexual connotations, especially in social areas. 
Naturism is about non-sexual social nudity. Swinging, or, cruising, is never allowed in true naturist communities. It is illegal to take, edit, store, or publish any photographs or videos without someone's written permission, especially when naked. Always be cool, don't argue or fight, be violent, raise your voice or shout, work out differences diplomatically. Never overindulge in alcohol or other substances. Drunkenness is generally not allowed in a naturist setting. Don't litter, if you see litter, pick it up and dispose of it. Always clean up after yourself, naturists pride themselves as neat and tidy people and leave behind only their footprints. Respect and obey the additional rules a venue or resort might have on our event. Parents are responsible for their own children and pets and should be always supervised so that they don't cause problems for others. Respect and partake in social nudity. Always be naked, unless the weather is too cold. Naturist events are not clothing optional. Swimsuits, bikinis, underwear, and shorts are usually not allowed. If it is too cold rather wear a jacket, gown or poncho. Naturism tips. Always be kind to naked people. If we are naked, we are a bit more vulnerable, take it easy. Always be kind and on your best behavior. Never behave in an aggressive, offensive, obscene, disruptive, or indecent manner. Don't use bad language or make rude remarks about someone's likeness. Naturists don't tolerate racism, sexism, homophobia, voyeurism, body shaming etc. Be more concerned about your personal hygiene naked than you are with clothes on. Keep hair and nails clean and neat, skin clean, and brush those pearly white teeth. Keep those wet wipes close for accidents and to wipe clean after using the toilet. Don't be too concerned about body hair. To shave or not to shave is purely a preference, no big deal. Some do like it to increase their feeling of nakedness, respect that. Please don't be ashamed of normal body functions. Girls rather use tampons instead of sanitary pads if need be. Boys, if erection, you can get into a pool, hot tub, or lake, lay on your stomach, throw a towel over yourself, or excuse yourself, and wait your erection out. Don't be embarrassed, just cover up. Your towel is your shield. Always have your towel with you to sit on or to cover up if you are aroused or when required to do so. If your children want to spend time nude, always let them. Children are natural naturists, let them be. It may be difficult for your children to practice family nudity after they go to school because it's not widely accepted. Talk to your child and respect their preferences when it comes to nudity. Understand that being a nudist does not make the other person perverted or sexually creepy. Naturist ethics is to keep eye contact when talking to someone, without the eyes wandering around. Remember that there is nothing shocking or gross about the human body. If you feel that there is, it's important to talk to someone about your own sense of self-worth and body image. Keep your phone at home or in your room. It's understandable that it's not always possible, but going without it gives you time to truly relax and will make other naturists trust you. Chapter 8 When Explaining Naturism to Others, Some Tips to Keep in Mind By Gary Holden, American Association for Nude Recreation Start with the basics, begin by explaining what naturism is and how it differs from other clothing optional activities. Naturism is a lifestyle that involves being naked in social settings, such as beaches, resorts, or clubs, for the purpose of promoting body positivity, self-acceptance, and respect for others. Address common misconceptions, many people may associate naturism with sexual activity or exhibitionism, so it's important to clarify that naturism is not about sexual gratification or attention-seeking behavior. Instead, it is a way of life that values freedom, equality, and community. Emphasize the benefits, share the positive aspects of naturism, such as the sense of liberation and connection with nature that can come from shedding clothing. Additionally, emphasize the sense of acceptance and inclusivity that is often found within naturist communities. Be respectful, keep in mind that not everyone may be comfortable with the idea of naturism, so it's important to be respectful of others' beliefs and boundaries. 
If someone is not interested in learning more about naturism, don't push the issue or make them feel uncomfortable. Invite them to try it. If someone expresses interest in naturism, invite them to join you at a naturist event or resort. This can be a great way for them to experience naturism firsthand and determine if it's something they would like to pursue further. Provide resources. If someone wants to learn more about naturism or get involved in the community, provide them with resources such as websites, books, or social media groups. This can help them connect with like minded people and find ways to explore naturism in a safe and supportive environment. Address concerns. Some people may have concerns about the practical aspects of naturism, such as hygiene or sun exposure. It's important to address these concerns and provide information on how to stay safe and comfortable while practicing naturism. Share your own experiences. If you are a naturist yourself, Share your own experiences and how naturism has positively impacted your life. This can help others see the value of naturism and understand why you are passionate about it. Be open to questions, encourage others to ask questions and address any concerns they may have. This can help foster understanding and dispel any misconceptions they may have about naturism. The key to explaining naturism to others is to be respectful, informative, and open-minded. By sharing information, addressing concerns, and inviting others to explore naturism for themselves, you can help promote a greater understanding and appreciation for this unique way of life. To wrap up, for more information, and to become a member of our community, visit kznna.org.za. Remember, naturist living is all about embracing our true selves, respecting others, respecting nature, and having a good laugh along the way. So strip off those inhibitions and let's have a hilarious and memorable time together. If you're ready to join the naturist community, it's as easy as visiting our website at kznna.org.za. Just complete the online application form that's right for you, whether you're a couple, a family, or a single member. Once your application is received, a friendly member of our management committee will get in touch to arrange a meet and greet. And if everything goes well, you'll be notified to pay your annual membership fee. Easy PC. So, play nice and have fun discovering the naturist lifestyle. Happy naturisting my friends. We hope you have enjoyed and learned something about our amazing lifestyle. May you have happy naturist adventures and memories along the way. Happy naturisting my friends. Take care.